Hello everyone, today we're going to be teaching everyone how to scan a file and read the content with React and JavaScript. So now here I have a file, a text file with me. It has a list of names, Cristiano Ronaldo, Jessica Alba, Lionel Messi, Fernando Alonso. So we're going to be able to read this from this text and display it to uh, our project. So let's just cancel this. So over here we have a input file over here and we have a button here. So we're going to start off with this input file. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to say on change. We want it to scan file. Now this function is not yet defined. So we're going to go ahead and define that function. We're going to say constant scan file equals to event. I'm going to say this. So we're going to say constant file equals to obviously event dot target dot files now this is to access the file that we uh, select over here okay so here since scan file is not defined i don't know why it's saying that so let's check here scan file is defined scan file is defined so we're just going to save that and we should not have any error anymore so let's reload this page and all our errors are gone okay so don't mind this all right so now that we have our file we want to read through the contents of this file. How do we go about that? We're going to say constant reader equals to new file reader. Okay. Then we're going to say reader dot read as text. Then we're going to pass in our file. Okay. Then we're also going to say reader dot onload. And console.log. Here we're going to say reader dot name. That's the name of the file. Then we're going to say okay, not reader.name. We're going to say file.name. Sorry. Then in another console log, we're going to say reader.result. Okay. So let's come here. Let's click choose the file. This is my file over here with a list of names. And we open and we can see down here we get the name of the file and then we get the content of the file now what if we want to take this content and we want to turn it to an array of all these names so we can use it so how do we go about that uh, first of all we're going to create a constant here and we're going to create this constant file okay no we can't create file we'll say file data okay we're going to set file data view state okay we're going to come here we're going to say set file data to be the reader dot result and this time we're going to say dot stream why are we saying dot stream now in this text file uh, let me see if I can open it up again with me in this text file, uh, it can come like this and like this. So there's a bit of space here and there's a bit of space here. Now we don't want that to interfere with how we're arranging the file. Okay. But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to not trim it. So we see how it affects us when we are trying to get the data and then we're going to see the importance of using trim. Okay. So I'm going to leave this like this. All right. And I'm going to come down here. And also, before we move on to the next thing we want to do, over here, when we say onload, we, want to, we also want to see if there's an error in reading the file. For instance, it's a file we cannot read. So we're going to say reader.onError equals to function. And we're going to say console.log. I'm going to say file error. And we're going to say reader dot error okay so now let's go back here and uh, this let us save this okay let's just keep this here we're going to choose a file that is not a text file one that is a bit difficult to read uh what i wanted to pick was like a youtube video like a video sorry uh so i this mp4 file so we're going to pick this and as you can see the this is what it's reading okay 
this data is reading from that so you can see it's an error but it's still able to read that but this is not really what you want to see all right so let's refresh this all right so now we want to arrange these contents into like an array okay so how do we go about that we come down here we're going to say constants arrange arrange file okay now in this arrange file we're going to say constant file data okay no we can't use file data um file array equals to file dot now we need the because we set our file data here we need to access this file data so we're going to say file data dot split okay so we're going to split it with this r or n slash and then we need a slash over here okay so this is going to help us split it then we're going to say console.log file array okay perfect now how do we call this function we're just going to come to this button so on click and we're going to say arrange file so let's refresh this let's choose a file let's pick our text file and let's say you can see you can see the space here and let's say arrange document now because of that space you can see here uh, it has created an array for us but you can see space is also part of that array now we need to get rid of this space so now that's the essence of using our trim let's just cancel this that's the essence of using our trim over here so if we say dot trim and we come back here and we refresh we choose a file we pick this you can see the space here and we say arrange documents and you can see over here there is no space because it has streamed this part off and this part off and we're all left with our data that we really really need so that's how you can work on reading scanning and reading files in react and javascript so please make sure you like and subscribe it really helps the channel a lot and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you